Hey friends, we are in week number 14 of our study through Nehemiah, and this week we care, we cover a, a massive section of scripture, huge section of scripture. We're doing like all of chapter 11 and part of chapter 12. It's a very, very long list of names. And uh, what we see in this section of scripture is uh, the people inhabiting the city of Jerusalem. And it really does beg the question, what's going on here? And I think what's going on here has everything to do with building legacy. And so when we look at this section of scripture and ask the question, like, how do we build a lasting legacy? We start to see a few things happening uh, within this section of scripture. First, we see that to build lasting legacy, you need to settle down. So people are moving into Jerusalem, they're settling down. Uh, also, we see, though, that to build lasting legacy, there needs to be kind of some diversity among the leadership, particularly as it relates to spiritual gifts, natural talents, the, the roles and responsibilities that they have. Uh, we see that happening. There's a bunch of different leaders with a bunch of different responsibilities using their gifts to bless the people. We see that happening as well. The third thing we see, though, is to build a lasting legacy, you need to have a multi-generational approach. And if you notice in this section of scripture, it's talking about the descendants and it goes kind of through the lineage of the father in the sense that it, it's going through like, you know, the grandfathers and the fathers and the sons. And the whole reason is because in ancient Israel, they just kind of track the lineage through the line of the father. It doesn't exclude the, the mothers and the wives and the daughters, the women. It doesn't exclude them. It's just that's how they kind of approached it. What we see, though, is this multi-generational approach, that, that building legacy for them is about settling down in the city. It's about using their gifts and talents to serve and bless each other. It's about having a multi-generational approach. And we can apply these things in our own lives. Uh, when it comes to thinking through how to build a lasting legacy, some of this is kind of mindset. Some of it's kind of high level. It's, it's you saying, you know what, I'm going to settle down in my city. It's you saying, I'm going to use the gifts and talents that God has given me to serve and bless others. It's also you saying, I'm going to approach life and ministry through a multi-generational lens. I don't want to just hang out with people in my life stage. I want, to help, I want to help and hang out with people in different life stages so that we all collectively together as the church can grow and flourish. All right, so that kind of stuff, it's really kind of high level. It's somewhat worldview building type stuff. How do we make this real practical? Here's how we can make it real practical intentionality intentionality i really do believe the key to building a lasting legacy is intentionality it happens in the everyday moments uh, of life it's having the kind of an intentionality to where you don't just go through the motions but rather you see every day as an opportunity every day is an opportunity to build legacy and it ultimately comes down to the way that we invest in each other, the way that we invest in people, the way that you invest in people. So what I wanna invite you to for your application this week is to have a legacy mindset, but to live with the intentionality of legacy and to see every single day as an opportunity to invest yourself in other people with the end goal being to build them up so that they can hopefully draw closer to Jesus, and there can be a legacy of God's kingdom here on earth.